So how can we use tessamorelin, a growth hormone releasing peptide to improve our health and overall wellness and anti-aging? First of all, a medical disclaimer, make sure that you're consulting with a doctor prior to using any peptides and making sure that you're getting them from a reputable source to make sure you're getting what you're supposed to be getting and the manufacturing doesn't have any other problematic additives in it. So to get into it, what is tesamorelin? Tesamorelin is a growth hormone releasing peptide specifically acting on the hypothalamus to stimulate or act as growth hormone releasing hormone. This then stimulates the pituitary gland to release growth hormone. The great thing about using growth hormone releasing peptides like tesamorelin is that the body has a bit of a governor on the amount of growth hormone that's released and then the growth hormone that is released is the bioidentical form versus using exogenous. Some of the benefits of having elevated growth hormone levels can be things like fat loss, increased muscle gain, um, improved energy, enhanced sleep, better hair, skin, nails, and focus and cognitive clarity throughout the day. Tesamorelin specifically works on helping to reduce visceral adiposity. That's the fat that accumulates around the organs. There's other kinds of fat like subcutaneous fat. And overall, we really see tesamorelin kind of shine in reducing that visceral fat. The big problem with visceral fat is it's highly associated with metabolic syndromes like obesity, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. It has a way of increasing overall inflammation. And as we know, increased systemic inflammation can be very problematic for predisposing diseases and death and cancer. And so it's very important to make sure that we're reducing that inflammation, that chronic inflammation as much as possible. So the reason I like tesamorelin is because it is generally quite side effect free when compared to some of the other growth hormone releasing peptides that can have problems with increasing cortisol or prolactin, which have other effects. But tesamorelin is a great peptide if we're looking to reduce that visceral adipose tissue and also enhance muscle gain and fat loss. Often patients ask if tesamorelin can be combined with GLP-1 agonists like semaglutide and trisepatide, and it absolutely can. One of the issues with semaglutide and trisepatide is that during the weight loss, if there isn't enough calories coming from protein or there isn't sufficient resistance exercise being done, patients can actually lose muscle and bone mass during the process. And that arises another issue because we are using these weight loss medications to generally enhance overall health and um, lean body mass. And so one of the things we don't want to happen is for that muscle reduction and that bone reduction to occur. Tesamorelin added on top of the GLP-1 agonist can be a fantastic almost counter to that and it can help patients have a body recomposition to where they're losing the fat mass and then while also helping to increase that lean body mass. And a lot of patients report having that better hair, skin, nail quality, better sleep, better energy, better focus. So if you're interested in tesamorelin or if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and we would be happy to make another video answering a little bit more in depth about how this growth hormone releasing peptide works.